this has been going on for years. Why did the government not act faster now? Exactly. I, I'm, I'm actually interested in why this is the first uh, power and politics panel we've ever had on this. I've no, ever it been isn't. In, well, I, I, that, I, Mr. Alexander, I, that, that, that's completely no. false, and I can send you links to the previous shows that we've discussed about this. We're discussing it during an election campaign because there's a crisis situation going on in Europe right now. But if you'd like this me to send those to you, I can because you've been on the show previously and discussed it. I, I've never been on the show in a panel discussion on these issues. No, because issues. you weren't allowed to do panels as a minister. That's why you're here now. If you want, if you want to avoid, if you want to avoid the question, let's let's just be clear that that's what's happening. I don't, I don't want I don't want to avoid the question, Rosemary. You want to avoid the fact that the biggest conflict and the biggest humanitarian crisis of our times has been there for two years, and you and others have not put it in the headlines where it deserves that's, to be. That's so, we did some checking. Since 2011, when the crisis began, Power and Politics has talked about the crisis in Syria 32 times. With some participation or mention of Chris Alexander, five times he appeared on this program to talk about refugees, including a one-on-one -on -one interview on May 30th, 2014. Note some of these times, uh, there was a discussion around changes to refugee health legislation. Some of these include conversations about ISIS. This tally does not include the many times the Power Panel has discussed the issue nor one-on-one -on -one interviews with other humanitarian uh, groups that have come on the show to discuss what more Canada should do. So just so we have all the facts on the table.